everybody what is up happy friday how's it going welcome to adobe live and another creative cloud express masterclass. i'm so excited to be here today um how are y'all doing i see so many people already in line in chat um let's do some shout outs what up kiss my creative hi cody hi umacorn hi viola how's it going hi sam hi general kenobi oh my gosh so many people here today and i'm really really excited to hang out with you all um and if we're just meeting my name is katrina trijos and i am the creative cloud express evangelist and i am also a content creator on youtube and twitch on the side um, and I'm excited because today's class, we will be talking about how to repurpose a single project into multiple different pieces of content, so spe specifically in social media. But there are so many different ways you can repurpose a single piece of content. This is just a little tiny piece of the pie, but of course, there are other um, ways to repurpose your content. Um, hello, everybody. There's so many people filing in. The <laughs> General Kenobi, the Chancellor, wants to meet the ambassador at the Senate. Oh my gosh. Y'all are so funny. Okay. Um, oh, wow. New intro. Haven't seen this one yet. Yes. This is the Creative Cloud Express intro. I'm glad you like it. Sean's getting a little big. <laughs> You're funny. Y'all are too hilarious. Okay. So we do have an hour today and I'm gonna try and get through most of this class, but it's being a little bit ambitious, okay, with how many times I'm going to repurpose this. But if we do run out of time today, no worries. I will do kind of a catch up on the next masterclass or I will also uh, post like the final touches or whatever we don't touch on in the Creative Cloud Express Discord server, which if you're not in there yet, the links are down below. Join the Creative Cloud Express Discord server on Thursdays when I do my 30 minute session. I do hang out in there. We have like a little after party to talk about the classes. Um, I'm also in there almost all the time, every day, even when I'm not live and the team is there as well. Um, and there's a lot of good content and opportunities to share your work and connect with other creatives. So with that said, um, let's get on with the class, okay. So we are on my screen now, of course. <laughs> Where else would we go? Okay, so we're gonna start off with something simple. I'm thinking probably the best example for repurposing something, a piece of content to different uh, pieces of content is uh, if it's kind of like a long form kind of situation. So things like lists or like blog posts or something like that. Um, so we're gonna go in and find, oh, I'm already here. This is not the homepage. We're in Instagram post templates, <laughs> but you can find it just by um, going to the homepage, scrolling down a little bit, going to Instagram posts. Um, let's hit view all. Um, also, how was everyone say St. Patrick's Day? Did y'all do anything yesterday? Um, I would love to know how you celebrate it, if you do celebrate. Okay, so we're gonna go to, this one looks pretty good. Um, there's a list here, we can easily stretch it into a couple stories, a Pinterest post, um, and really make it our own. Okay, so, cool. So we're just gonna load it in here, and we're gonna change the text, um, but Actually, now that I'm reminded and I click the text and the text panel comes up, we actually have text templates for lists. I'm thinking we should do that today. What do y'all think? So we have something for lists. So we're gonna start off with like a single static Instagram post. Um, of course you can turn this into a carousel, um, but just, for the sake of the example for today, we are going to just stick with a single static Instagram post and see how far we can stretch it. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Let's 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 start from semi scratch. I like the background, so we're gonna keep that. And let's add this in. Okay, so this we have an ingredient list right now, but clearly we're not gonna be doing that. Um, we're going to be making, like, let's do like a, like a steps, like a, like a tutorial-ish kind of post. You know, the steps, like three steps to doing X, Y, Z, like stuff like that. Okay, 
um, we're going to ungroup this. Um, but how are y'all doing today while I am getting myself situated? Um, how's your Friday? Do you have any plans for the weekend? I'd love to know. I've had my fun. I don't really do um, healthy habits. It's wine 30 here. Sean, I wish it was wine 30 here too. <laughs> it is only, well, 930 rhymes with wine 30. <laughs> easy uh easy mix up you know okay so instead of ingredients um i'm gonna turn this into a post that i uh, i'm trying to think okay let's turn this into like let's something simple like how to become like a content creator in three steps okay something like that so we're just going to click on the text um we're gonna edit it how oh become A content creator in three steps. Easy. <clears throat> okay, so by the way, while we're on the topic, what are, if you were writing this post, what would be the top three steps you would tell an absolute new person on how to become a content creator or how to become a creator on social media? Let me know. I want to know what everyone's top top three tips would be um and I think for me if I'm really breaking it down <laughs> and really keeping it simple it would literally be number one to just start documenting whatever it is you want to create like taking photos videos teach something or tell a story and then the next thing would be probably to choose a platform to post on of course, you got to put your work out there. Um, so that's like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever, or Twitch. And then my third thing would be to promote yourself. Like, be unapologetic about it. Tell your friends, your family. Honestly, they are your first supporters. And if you don't tell anyone about your work, then like no one's ever going to know. And usually that's where the discouragement happens and stuff. And it's scary when people you know IRL know about your stuff for the first especially when you're getting started but you know that's really the first steps and I feel like once you do all three boom you can call yourself a content creator you create content online you tell people about it they support you you're a creator that's in my opinion though I'd love to know <clears throat> okay so we're going to change this text as we did earlier um wait is this grouped let me check really quick the grouping always gets me sometimes like so if something if you over if you ever open a template and it's hard to um, edit it or like it's your the clicking isn't like working or it's not responding most of the time it's in a group so make sure you ungroup everything before you work on a template um, so that the whole thing becomes customizable and just so much easier to select and edit something okay um, we're going to do step one. Oops. Oh my gosh. I also, disclaimer, I have not caffeinated today. So if I'm a little <laughs> loopy, um, the, just know this is all natural energy today. <laughs> Craft, take photos, videos, or take photos make videos, teach, um, tell a story. Yeah, that works. Okay. And then we're going to go change this. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. Choose a platform to post on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I feel like I don't even need to put like the examples. Um, I feel like people would get it. Um, <clears throat> but we'll, we'll see how it looks at the end. Promote yourself. Reach out to friends and family for support. Oh man, I resonate so hard with that um, 
that last tip because for me, when I first started, it was really hard for me to tell my friends and family <laughs> that I was doing this, like really hard. Like I remember when it got out that I started making YouTube videos. I was a sophomore in college and I broke down and cried <laughs> in front of everyone because I was outed without my permission. And I was just like, oh no, I'm so embarrassed. But I look back and I'm just like, you know what? I should have, I wish I should have owned it back then. You know, there was nothing to be ashamed of. No one was making fun of me. They were just like really proud and like surprised and, you know, nothing negative, but, you know, it's promoting your stuff. And the fear of being judged really gets to a lot of people and even myself. So, you know, just a, a little reminder that a lot of the times people support you. And if, you know, if they don't, if, if they make fun of you, then they're not really your friends, you know, and you don't need to worry about them because they're not your target audience. So bye. Um, okay. So <laughs> I should put periods. Okay. So now that we have the spacing down, um, let's add, Oh, let's add some design assets. Let's add, uh, let's see. Let's do like a little camera thing. <clears throat> oh, I love these, these little watercolor cameras. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on in the chat. You guys talking about XD? <laughs> Y'all are funny. Okay. Um, okay. So let's do this camera. I kind of like how this one looks. And then let's just put it in the corner just for some like little visual element and stuff. Okay. Cool. So this is a good start to the content we are going to repurpose. So um, we're gonna go ahead and save this. Oh, also, does anyone ever have a hard time with naming their projects? I always forget. And when I hit download and I see it says my project and I change it anyways, you should really change it here. <laughs> I need to get into the habit of naming the project first <laughs> before doing anything. <clears throat> the cameras are cool assets. Yes, they're super cool. Okay. Um, okay, now we're going to download. I'm going to hit PNG. Did I do it right? Yes, I did. Um, let's let's make a new folder. This is chaotic. This is all my practice files. Um, <laughs> IG post. We'll put it here. <laughs> okay, save. So... Now that we're here, another thing that I like to do, especially when I am repurposing a single piece of content and try to keep it on brand, I, oh, pff, open a new tab, yes. <laughs> so I'll open a second tab of Creative Cloud Express and I just picked a random dimension. I'll have like a square or like a rectangle, but this will kind of like be my like art board where I'm just going to dump everything. And so it's just a larger, um, picture a larger overview of what is going out and that way I can like see if I made a Instagram post or story kind of different or something like that so I'll just lay it out here for now um, and then at the same time like if I'm doing something like this and because you know um, Creative Cloud Express doesn't have the multi-page function yet um, I like to put it here and so that I can like grab colors with the eyedropper tool and stuff, make sure like the font is the same. Um, and you know, this is just a general look at everything that I've made. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to go back into the home page, and then we're going to duplicate the post that we just made. And we're gonna just say um, IG post. Please do not mind my lack of creative names for things. <laughs> IG post, story, though that's confusing, <laughs> but okay, let's go with it. <laughs> are, you using, are you not using CC to save? You can save it to CC. But if, um, just for this example, I'm keeping everything in Creative Cloud Express, um, 
just for sake of time and stuff but you could totally save it to your cc libraries as well that is definitely an option or um what's it called template library or any of that stuff there's so many different ways to save it um so you can do however you see fit okay so now we're going to just resize this to instagram story and so we now we have it like this um and we're just gonna move stuff around i think i'm going to get rid of this table here so you can see this template was deconstructed in lines oh actually hmm no that's okay that's okay <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll keep it like this okay so first we're going to make a couple Instagram story slides. So we're going to do um, the title slide, which is like the first one, and then you'll be able to swipe through and each slide will be like a different tip. Um, okay, so we're going to just get rid of these for now. And then I'm just gonna make this bigger in three steps. Okay, and then we're going to adjust the letter spacing. And then we can make this camera bigger. How cute. And then one thing that I really like seeing in stories um, that is a small thing, but is a really good reminder for folks is um, the, like, the the indicator to like swipe through like there's more I see it a lot in carousels and I see it in um, Instagram stories and I think it's a good reminder because when people are scrolling like especially on on their feed it's like they're just going like this but they don't sometimes people don't know that there's more unless you know they have like a catchy title or something like that or um, you know like it's just kind of hard to keep people's attention on your post because people are just like swiping and liking just passively these days. And same thing with stories. Like I see people like just scrolling past stories, like not even clicking through the whole thing sometimes. And it's a missed opportunity. So small things like this will remind people like, hey, you see this, you're kind of interested in it, but don't swipe away. There's more to this content. There's like different parts. So let's do this. <clears throat> An arrow. Oh my gosh, I love these arrows. This is huge though. Okay. Where is the notch? Oh, here it is. So we're just going to take one of these arrows. We're going to point it to the side a bit. Maybe have it come off the page. Um, and then we'll point it a little bit to the side. Nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some more text. Let's actually, oh wait, actually, I think if you add text, it keeps the, yeah, it keeps the same font as um, the original template. So you don't even have to worry <laughs> about grabbing the same font. Mm -mm. Okay, so this one will say swipe through. I also kind of like the green. I really like the green actually. Current palette. <coughs> Sean, wait, there's more. <laughs> okay. So something like this, so that it'll remind folks to keep clicking this way. And you can also put like a GIF or something on Instagram, the little like pointy GIFs, or if you want the arrow to move, for sure you can use um, the Insta Instagram GIFs as well. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Again, we're gonna download um, PNG. Let's get it, you know what it is. It's about to get really repetitive in here. <laughs> story I'm gonna make this actually the cover and then we're gonna go in here 
I'm just going to quickly drag and drop here. And also, if y'all did not see my Thursday stream, I pointed out that the drag and drop feature has gotten a lot more seamless. Like, as you saw, I could just, like, click on this, and then it has this new overlay here, and it also tells you the type of files that you can add. And then it just pops it in wherever you put it. Like, I feel like it's pretty seamless to me because before how I used to do it is um, I used to upload it. So I would download the thing, then re-upload it through uh, photos or something like that. And then it would go in here. But now you could just easily drag and drop. It's super fast now and seamless. And I think it's great. <laughs> um, okay. So next we are going to create the second page. Um, which we're going to go back here and then we're going to duplicate this. Um, usually during uh, my streams, I just write things over just for like the sake of time and then just say, pretend I am making a new project. But today we actually need to um, <laughs> duplicate the project because there's a lot of things that we need to copy over. Okay, so we have the copy here. Let's go in. And then now we're going to make the first slide. Um, so we're just going to get rid of this. And we're going to make it a little bit different. Um, um, let's see. Okay, so we're going to do the first tip. So we're going to go to our little mini artboard piece thing. Um, the first one's document your craft. Okay. So we'll have, maybe we'll make this like step one. We'll make this say step one. Like right there. <coughs> okay. And then now we're going to add another piece of text and do it kind of do I was going to say, kind of do the same thing. Now we're going to do the same thing. We are going to <laughs> take the text. Luckily, I have my notes off screen. I'm just going to copy and paste <laughs> the text, what it's supposed to say. So that also helps to um, take notes of like the content that you're posting. Um, put it off to a side, like on a notes app or um, like a document thing and then just copy paste so you don't have to type things out all the time oh you know what would be cool actually if we do like a third hierarchy so we have like the step one which is like the top right and then or maybe yeah we'll do something like this document your craft of course we is like the point blank period, you know, it's the point. And then, oh, where's the grid line? Snap lines, help me. Okay, um, and then we're going to duplicate this. And then we're gonna put this, but then make it smaller, almost like a sub point. There you go, that way, not everything is just a single sized font, you know? Eh, my mouse. <laughs> okay, we'll just adjust it a little bit. And also when it comes to stories, feel free to take up as much space as possible, leaving a little bit of room at the top for the profile and um, maybe a little bit at the bottom. But there are so many times where I see stories that are so, like the text is so small. And like, we all have to remember that like people are viewing these for the most part on their phones. So <laughs> feel free to like make the text a little bit bigger don't be afraid to put things smack dab in the middle <laughs> um, because, yeah, just remember screens, phone screens are a lot smaller. And sometimes I actually hold my phone to my face sometimes if I really want to read something. Espe Ooh, especially with the Instagram, um, when people type like long 
stories or paragraphs or something on Instagram stories and you have to like hold to read like it's uh, <laughs> sometimes those are kind of tough to read for me so yeah let me know if y'all share the same opinion but <clears throat> yeah that's my experience um oh let's add a photo um so <coughs> today we're going to work with the Adobe stock photos um but you can upload your own especially if it's like your own original content um you can put on your put uh, you can insert your own photos um from like your Lightroom, Dropbox, Google Drive um but if you don't have access to photo doing photo shoots or taking your own photos um we have a ton of stock photo options as well so <coughs> I think for today, let's let's look up like what they have for camera because documenting is like I think of like camera and gear and stuff like that. Uh, so this is cool. Oh, I like this and this. Oh my gosh, I like. Th okay, okay, Katrina, pick a photo. <laughs> let's go. <coughs> Phones make everything 1920 by 1080. <laughs> okay, let's do... So there are different ways we could do it. Um, we could do like a full bleed image situation, which is really nice. I think full bleed images on Instagram stories looks really good. Um, but I feel like there's like a lot of um, colors happening in this photo. So let's actually, oh, maybe, oh, you know what? Let's put it at the bottom. Let's put it at the bottom. And of course, you also do not have to use photos in your story because um, especially on like Instagram and stuff, like there's stickers, there's gifts that you could put. So feel free to leave some blank space at the bottom or something. If you want to add gifts, you can also create your own gifts, um, on the homepage of Creative Cloud Express, the, um, the, a little, uh, gift maker convert video to gif, um, is another popular option and you could save it. Add your own, add your own gifts of yourself. You know who makes really good gifts? Howard Pinsky. Um, he's been making a lot of gifts of himself on Twitter, and it is the best, best thing ever. I want to save them and use them as reactions because they are just amazing. <laughs> so, if you want to see an example of how to use the the convert to GIF, Howard Pinsky's got it down. <laughs> Check him out on Twitter. Okay. <clears throat> cool. So this is a slide one. Um, when getting Adobe stock photos, are there filters to find undiscovered photos? What do you mean undiscovered photos? Like ones that are like not as popular <clears throat> or um, what do you mean by that? Okay, so I'm gonna stop messing with this. I get super nitpicky at s some points, but we have a lot to get through. So we're gonna start downloading this page. And then this will kind of be the basis for our, um, the next two stories. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put it here. And of course, as someone pointed out, you can also put this in your CC library. You can use an XD um, board, art board, an Illustrator art board, really whatever tool you want. Um, but if you're watching this or on the replay and you're just solely using Creative Cloud Express, this is probably one of the a good way to do it. Um, okay, next one. Um, and then... I, I am having an internal battle of if I should just play it safe and duplicate again, <laughs> which I think I'm going to do, or if I just overwrite it. <laughs> it's always an internal struggle up here. <laughs> there are filters to find less used photos, so everyone... Oh, yes. Yes, Sean. <clears throat> um, so I think... For the search in Creative Cloud Express itself, um, I believe it's just it just covers everything. 
Um, but we can even look. Do we have any photos? I don't believe so. Um, yeah, so there aren't really any filtering search. It kind of just gives you everything all in one. But that is a great suggestion to add filters to find more undiscovered photos. I will note that. And yeah, if anyone has any suggestions or any features they'd like to see in Creative Cloud Express, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, or we also have a place in our Discord for you to put your feedback or feature requests. And we also have a user voice. Um, okay, this one is choose a platform. Okay, I'm gonna go through these next two posts um, rather quickly so that we can move on to the last thing. And honestly, it's just repetitive from here. I want two lines, please. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this. And then we're gonna change this photo out. You know what I would like to see in Creative Cloud Express? I would love to see like a GIF library, you know? Like photo library, awesome. We have icons, we have design assets. I think we need GIFs. That would be pretty cool. Social media, this one looks fun. I love this. I'll just put it down here. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right, second one done. Put it in here. Let it upload. And then let's actually kind of make this a bit smaller. All right, and then we have a step three. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> We're practicing good habits. We are duplicating the project. So if we need to go back, we can edit any of the slides. <laughs> Gives good idea. I'm going to steal that one. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, girls. Hey, Tim. Hey, Oliver, what is up? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Our Creative Cloud Express is working today. They're like, I feel like the program's like, oh my gosh, she never makes this many things in a single hour. <laughs> Let's see, let's refresh it. I'm a little impatient. <laughs> Is anyone impatient just like me? <laughs> or if something's loading for more than a couple couple minutes, if it takes a minute, you don't wait and you refresh and usually it works or sometimes it breaks and then you feel bad for not waiting. <laughs> Cause that's me. <laughs> okay. Step three, we're on the last one. Okay, and then what is the last tip? We have promote yourself. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Reach out to friends and family for support. Yes, if it's not instant, it's taking too long. <laughs> I feel you all over. It has a it has exactly point zero 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 three seconds to load, and if it doesn't load in that time, it's broken. <laughs> oh man! Unplug it, then plug it back in. 
those were the days or in the really old um playstation days when you take out the cartridge and you blow on it and then you put it back in <laughs> if the game freezes or if it doesn't work oh man i just dated myself right there <laughs> how old i am <laughs> okay photos <laughs> promote yourself um let's just do friends friends we kind of did a friends one earlier but maybe the meeting <laughs> Okay, maybe not meeting is not the right vibes. Um, chat. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I like the vibes of this. <laughs> this is more like Zoom call, but... Oh, I love this photo. Let's go with this one. I like this. He's doing a, uh, a pitch idea. This is the vibes. He's pitching himself to a brand collab, telling his friends and family about his great business and content idea. I see it. I see it. Okay. Promote yourself. I love it. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. This is story three, right? Story one, two, three. Okay. Yes. We're on number three. Boom. Okay, so we have three. And then sometimes people will put like a CTA slide at the end where it'll say like like swipe up or now it's like click this link to view the full article or something like that, which is a great idea. Or they'll put like their website or something. That'd be cool. You know what? Actually, let's do that really quick. Um, <laughs> good habits, good habits. Do not, Katrina, do not overwrite your project. Duplicate it. Start from scratch. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I <laughs> uh, remember those days, too. Yes, exactly. Okay. So now we're on the last slide. We can... Uh, Get rid of this. Take out this photo. Um, and then this one will be like a simple CTA. Like, um, want more creator tips or something? Want more creator tips? Tip, tip, tips. Tip, tips. And advice. Um, something like this, middle, we'll fix the size later, <laughs> um, check out, we'll say like check out my website or something, check out my website, <coughs> okay, now we can make this bigger, Check out my website. And I've seen people put like little cutouts of themselves and stuff too. Like, hey, it's me. And then like a little talkie bubble. Um, there's so many cute ways to do CTAs at the end of stories. Which, by the way, you should always put a CTA at the end of a story. Especially if it's like a valuable piece of content just like this. Like tips or an article or something. Um, because, you know, you want to drive people to your website to check out more of your stuff. And uh, I've seen so many times where stories just drop off. Like, there's no, it, like, it doesn't end cleanly, you know? And it's kind of like, you know, so, like, what's what's the so what? So we'll put an arrow here. I could have totally used a shorter arrow, but <laughs> I like the vibes of this one. And then for the icons, you don't have to do this part, but theoretically, you would put, like, an Instagram link right here. Um, like the little tappy sticker button and you could put it right here. Um, but um, for the purpose of pretend, <laughs> I'm going to put a rectangle, rectangle, little icon right here. Yay. And we're going to 
to duplicate this. Oh, we're going to bring it. Oh, no, no, no. Bring it to the front. And then we're just going to have it say link. <laughs> and then boom, this is where the link goes. Nice. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I got really excited with how, how that looked. But okay. So now we're going to download that. Story four. Yes, we can count. Boom. It's right here. Nice. Oh my gosh. It's looking so good. For for an artboard not being on like XD or Illustrator or something, this is, this is I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, so we'll just put it in like this. They're all kind of different sizes, but now we're going to move on to the third way we're going to repurpose, and that is a Pinterest pin. So the one thing about Pinterest that people don't know about is that you do not have to have a blog to be on Pinterest, because a lot of people think like Pinterest, it leads to an article or something. You can actually link your social posts to Pinterest, because all you need to do is add a link. And when people click on your pin, you can boot them over to your Instagram or like your portfolio, wherever you want to go. And so, you know, let's say we have like this was a carousel post or a story or I don't know if you can link to stories, but carousel post for sure. Like if you have like the full thing on your Instagram, you can link to your Instagram and get views on your Instagram. It's crazy. I didn't I didn't even think about that. Um, to link to social posts. So I know a lot of people don't have blogs um, or like websites or anything like that, but you can link to your social media. You can link to your YouTube uh, channel and stuff like that, your videos. Um, so the possibilities are really endless. Okay, so now we're going to go into... Um, should we do it from scratch? Let's Let's do it from this one. Duplicate. This one will be Pinterest post. <coughs> Wait, is that a clickable link or button? The the green thing. So it's not a button. It's it's just a placeholder. I I said for the for the sake of pretend, Sean. <laughs> Pretend that that is like the little link sticker that you put that you put on Instagram um, or like you can even have it as a placeholder. You could put it over it or something like that. Cover it. Um, but yeah, that's just the 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 concept of what I was meaning to go for. <laughs> OK, so we have this. Now we're going to resize it again. Let's make it a little bit longer for Pinterest. Um, so let's make this like. 2000. Yeah, okay. So now we're going to make it a little bit more optimized for Pinterest. So we're going to make some sort of like, like a little bit of like an infographic kind of thing. So we're going to put all the posts all in one, just in a cascading flow. So people will read from top to bottom. Okay, so now we're going to do photos again. Let's look up. Um, a new photo, like desk or something. Uh, this one. Heck yes. It is a landscape. It is perfect. We're putting it at the top. Just like that. And then I'm going to put the title right under it. And let's actually, one thing I see a lot on Pinterest is color blocking and having really big chunks of like color shapes sections <laughs> you, here, here okay here's what i mean um so we're gonna add a shape to this <laughs> we're gonna make it go end to end and then after that we are going to change the color we're going to make it match the thing and then we're going to mask the text so that the background comes through so like something like this like it'll be a picture and then a block of color and then yeah that that's that's what I mean. I'm I did not explain it in the right way. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the photos that we took originally. So to go back into your history of like the photos that you've picked, you can go to my Adobe Stock Photos, and then it'll show you the history of photos that you included in a project, past, present, everything. So this is actually your your history. 
Um, okay, so let's go. The first one was this one. And we can actually make these into like squares or circles. Um, but I like to just place them. Let's see what it looks like with the square. Oops, I took the speckle, put it here. Photos again. We had this one. We'll put it here. Sorry, got to cut someone off. <laughs> but we're just we're just roughly placing it, and then we're gonna go in and refine later. Um, Y'all know. Y'all already know what it is. And then so we're gonna put like tip here, tip here, tip here, and then at the bottom we're gonna put our website. So we do need a little bit of adjustment. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. I also have a bad habit of <laughs> um, working from a zoomed out position. <laughs> let's crop this, make it smaller. Uh -uh. Cleaning my screen, speckles, snow. Bliss, you had snow? Oh my gosh, I wish California had more snow. Okay, we're gonna change this text to do, I think I'm gonna just do the first half of each sentence, of each point, so that like when I do put this, so that when this does go on Pinterest and I link to the Instagram post, you know, the posts still remain a bit different. Um, and the Instagram post will still be like more thorough. So, yeah, because Pinterest, the graphics and stuff are so, like, not small, but it's just, like, a snapshot of what everything, of, like, the full content. Um, so, I like to keep things rather short and sweet on Pinterest. Um, and then, you know, you don't want to give away all of the value right in the, the thumbnail. The little the little pin preview, you know? And it gives them more incentive to check out more of your stuff. Um, almost like a teaser, you know? Like, we all hate when trailers give away pretty much the entire plot of the movie. So we don't want to do that. <laughs> so we have document your craft. Then we have choose your platform to post on. Hey. And then I'm going to put it here. Don't worry about the formatting. We will fix. Because <laughs> as I'm adding these in, I'm hating the format. So we're going to change it. <laughs> and then we're going to add this final piece of text. And it'll say our website. I'll put my I'll put my website, but just know it's under construction. It is private right now, but it is my name. Shocker. Everything is my name. <laughs> it is super easy to find me, honestly, on um social because I just have my name is everything. I just figured when I was making all my platforms that this would help me like SEO wise. And I always like to make sure I have a healthy google search <laughs> behind my name so that's why everything is just my name <laughs> okay we're gonna follow the same text um but yeah so if you're interested in following me on social on linkedin anything at all youtube twitch it's literally just my name the easiest thing you'll have to remember <laughs> okay um mass text and then we just usually, people on Pinterest usually put their website at the bottom of their graphic and then call it a day. Um, welcome in. We're working on design for social media platforms. Yes, I keep forgetting to use the dehaze for that crisp sound. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, so we are almost there. Actually, let's do on I kind of want to do the circles. Like let's do a funky shape, you know? Like I there's a lot of like rectangles and stuff happening in this Pinterest pin right now. 
So let's like disrupt that flow for a little bit. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's add in some rounded shapes. just to offset all of the rectangle stuff that's happening. Promote yourself. We can even make the text bigger. Like I said earlier, I feel like Pinterest pins are even smaller than like Instagram stories and stuff. So feel free to play around with the spacing. Try to aim for bigger fonts so folks can see the text from far away and you can even play with the formatting as well like I don't love how this is like three lines but it is that's the only way it's gonna fit <laughs> okay let's see what do we think what do we think so on Pinterest, it's going to come out to be, oh, not that small. On Pinterest, it's going to come out to be like this. I think it's pretty good. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm -hmm. What's it called? Welcome in. I keep forgetting to use Gee Haze. I read that. Vinyl sounds better. Are y'all talking about vinyls? I see somebody forgot to download the update. <laughs> Okay, I think this looks pretty good. Okay, so now, hmm, actually, hmm, no, I think we're good. Oh, okay, that was missing. I was like, there's something off. The desk wasn't centered. <laughs> okay, so we are about, oh yeah, actually, this is, <laughs> I have a problem with wanting to add things when I have only a couple minutes left for stream, but we're just going to, we're going to go, we're going to do it anyways. Okay. We're going to add a little border around the circles. We're going to add a tiny little stroke. Just a tiny one. Don't worry. <laughs> do not worry. Do not worry, chat. We're just going to go in real quick. We're racing against the clock now. <laughs> Oh, I like it with the space. Okay, okay. Duplicate. Let's go. How fast can Katrina add a last minute touch? Super fast because this is Creative Cloud Express. <laughs> okay. Duplicate. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. <laughs> and we have made it okay so now we added the final touch oh my gosh it looks so it looks so good the pictures stand out so much better okay Whew, I'm so glad we did that <laughs> so we're now gonna download it we're super happy and excited that is a good indicator to know that you are finished with the project so now we're going to throw this in our little artboard and I'm so excited and here you go. This is our one piece of content repurposed in three different ways. And it looks super good together and so on brand. Um, but yeah, that concludes this class. Oh my gosh. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Creative Cloud Express YouTube channel for more tutorials and live streams and content just like this. And also connect with me on social media. I love chatting with y'all. Feel free to ask me any of your questions on Creative Cloud Express. Um, and also if you're on Behance, stay tuned uh, for more masterclasses throughout the day. Thank you all again so much for hanging out with me and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>